very good morning Dutch bike blogger here already going home it was not busy I expected something else but again overstaffed I'm driving here, not been here for a while. It's a little bit overgrown at the moment. The grass is a little bit longer. And she's keeping on the road. Well, it's a quite small area at the moment. Plants are way in the path of where I'm driving. Not sure what that is, or why that is. maintenance and did not work on this Well, some feathers, so probably a bird was hurt and killed and whatnot. Let's not drive in full speed over here. Stick on the road. And we made it through the end of the day at the, this park. Now, stick us a poot out, Lul. Dumbass. Cyclist in front of bike I'm following now extended the hand and this girl a woman or asshole did not bother and also turned and I was also going this way so it would have helped me if they stick out stuck out her hand indicated then it wouldn't have led to some shouting on my part
Oh ja, driving along the right deep trail. Well, they, maybe you saw it in the uh, earlier or another video, they did make the dike a little bit higher. Let's go the long way over here in front of these houses. Vroom, vroom. Do not end up in the water, will hurt your day a little bit, or ruin your day, will hurt my body, but ruin my day. I cannot go here, but at least not down the stairs. I wanted to see a few, get a few from here. And continue. Vroom vroom. Vroom vroom vroom. Well, I'm praising myself quite lucky that I'm going home now, early. Worked for two hours and release of work on own request of course otherwise it would not have happened normally in Holland it's law when you have a fixed contract or in have a contract with the company and they ask you to go home and you did not indicate yourself you can refuse and stay what they can do instead is then send home hired helps. In Holland we call it uitzendkrachten. As you are planned in at eight hours a day at the uitzendkracht at a hired help. Legally you can be sent home after three hours of work. You can be sent home earlier but then still they have to pay you three hours. And with a legal contract, like I have, no such thing. Of course, I do, when I don't want to go home, I probably have to indicate that I do not wish to be sent home. A loose dog again. No leash. And then I have to pray that the dog stays on the road or on the sidewalk, not on the road. Not very considerate of dog owners, I have to say. The term ignorant comes to mind. Well, looks like the railings of the bridge are gone. There was some mentioning about this. 
they were going to remove them and paint them and place them back in future. Well, they did. That's an easy way to remove them and get them to a shop. Get rid of the, all the old paint and grit sanding and recoat them again. Well, a little bit of waiting. And I'm actually on the Kranenweg. Not the normal route I take. Normally when I go here, I go straight. But let's do something different. silent car, BMW, probably on the electric motor. in here, not been here for a long while. One of the smaller streets here. Them bimbos. Never ever looked to the side. Well, I have to go to the left here, so don't stay on the right. But get to the left side and try to make something of it. An area where you go and coexist with pedestrians and bikes. And what happens? Everybody walks everywhere. Pedestrians on the road, now it's not that busy so it's not an issue, but would be a better idea to well. yeah, I'm going here. It's all the same, so I think it should be. And there are Kirk to my left, big and old church here in Groningen city. Groningen is quite an old city. I will provide you with a link to a Wikipedia document. In the description box, so you can read something about Groningen City. Korenbeurs, now uh, Albert Heijn, grocery store. But it used to be a trade center, and there is now a little bit of different business going on. I'm allowed to drive my bike here, but 
since it's wide enough I'm doing no indication of pedestrian area well it's a market in Groningen at the moment These kind of things Lower here because well it's busy. That's you not known not to look out and just cross the road when they want to. So that gets them and me in trouble when it goes wrong. Luckily, like I said, it's in the morning, it's not very busy, but when you come here and it's middle of the day or the afternoon, well, good luck getting by here. driving your scooter here at full speed like I said now it's not very busy but when it gets busy here well brace yourself At least it didn't help the scooter to drive fast. Really not an issue. That's an issue, I can't see a damn thing with the corner. Well, not the best thing to drive over here because, well, actually what they should do, but driving in the wrong direction. Fire truck is going or it's going to turn or something. Let's go off the road. Well, some stuff is dumped here. Uh, the cables and stuff. I'm trying to get the connections in with the gas. going to do is make a big u-turn here at least that's what I'm planning on doing road through my right is closed off turning again and I'm going this way 
Fitz as he's driving back now. Let's see if we can follow the ring road here. It's only called deep in the ring. Well, I left my jacket in my backpack, and the backpack is also on my back, by the way, but... Oh, great thing, man. I knew you would go that way. There's a stop sign. Not sure why, because it's not very busy, but let's stop for it anyway. too long Again, a stop sign. Traffic light, actually.
Good luck poking your car that way. From the right, well, a little bit busy on the ring road. Stop, stop lights, stopping lights, traffic lights. All a bit tricky here. How is it? What I noticed is a lot of people don't indicate or use their indicators on their car. You have to guess where they're going. Keep out of the door zone, please. Well, I can hear a bell ringing. That means the bridge is coming to be closed. Luckily, I don't have to go over that bridge, so not an issue for me. Make a turn to the right into the park, Northern Plantsoon to be exact. Not going to be driving here for a long time. Just taking a turn again. This little street, Grote Lelystraat. Funny that I say little street and the sign says Grote, which means big. Building activities or digging activities. Also in the distance a digger. Not sure how to get by on that one. in a kleine lady straat which actually means little Wat een domme kut hè China on the scooter, not even taking account of them coming from the right. Or if I pushed on, but she also pushed on and let's not make a mess of it and yeah. if you don't uh, follow traffic rules, one day you will hit a car. And that will be the end of you. Goodbye. Well, okay, I'm not sure what's happening over here. in the vicinity of home at least at least very much more close by when before I started
Nou, moet maar even op verkeer is meneer niet. Prutser. When you're disabled in driving a scooter mobile, you can do not have to pay attention to any any traffic rule. I have to say, the man looked like he couldn't even tie his own laces, shoe laces. That he is. Well, getting closer and closer to home, a nice morning ride. And when I get home, first of all, I have to have some lunch. Well, apart from the idiot count, bike that we can ride away and some other stupid people. Very nice ride. Let's break for the bike. Thank you. Well tomorrow another day at work and then a day off and then Friday again so the week does go by very fast. Something that suits me fine. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, it's for free. If you'd like to comment, please do so. Check out the comment section because there of the description box because there will be somebody something in there about Groningen. And of course, have a very nice day. And like always, be safe out there.